hard for me to find people like me. Um, and so that's really what it was. Just a wayward youth, I guess. I think we all go through that, right? Or we all have those spells or uh, yeah. patches in time where we go through that. The best part is that for some, we figure it out earlier, earlier than others to remove ourselves from those type of environments while others continue to deal with them and they sink further and further into a deeper, darker hole. Yeah. So this program, do you enjoy doing this work? Because I think you do. I love it. I honestly love it. Until we recently got a grant, I was literally doing it for free. <laughs> so really? I had to, yeah, I had to love it. Um, I do. It's it's so rewarding. Um, you know how they always say, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Well, that's kind of true and not true. Because some days I'd be tired. Like, I just don't have it in me to do it. Because it's, as even though it's rewarding, it's also so emotionally draining, too. Because these moms are single moms for whatever reason. And so I am that shoulder. Of course, there's a group of us, but it's mostly me that they lean on and, and tell all their worries to it. It's not like they do it to burden me. It's just because they feel comfortable talking to me, right? But then that's just stuff that I have to deal with try not to internalize, et cetera. But I do love it. I would not do another thing unless I had to. Awesome. Awesome. I like hearing that. So so is it just at the uh the women that you deal with or is it the kids and you have programs for the kids as well? We really are focusing just on the moms. We're still like super new, right? But we're okay. focusing on the moms because as you know, I'm sure, if mama's not good, nobody's good. And so if we can help mama be good, have a break. Cause sometimes I have older, a lot of us have older kids. So sometimes our older kids like to come and they'll watch the younger kids like a mm -hmm. village, right? Like a community would do. Um, so most of everything we're doing now is focused on the moms because our mission is to alleviate their stress. So everything we do is geared towards alleviating their stress from the learning sessions that we have to the activities that we have. Um, we're doing a pain sip with Arlene this Saturday. We go to Shelby Farms, we do picnics, paddle boats. Whatever we do is geared toward the moms so that they can have some peace and a sense of just a breath. So then it's less stressful for them to parent their children. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so what type of classes or programs do you have involved in this? Okay, so every other Wednesday, we do just like a check-in. It's via Zoom. It's real laid back. Um, it's just like, hey, girl, how was your week? Some people, you know, want to talk about a good week, a bad week, our baby daddy, um, how I love these kids, but I can't stand them right now. <laughs> like, um, that's Wednesday. Wednesday is very informal. A lot of times the moms are like in the kitchen with their device cooking dinner. It's real just like girlfriend time. Friday is more um, focused. We have what we call learning sessions and we have a different topic every month. Um, so we've talked about credit. We've talked about self-care. We've talked about um, putting legs on your vision. So whatever it is, the presenter usually agrees to do four Friday sessions. And we um, they pick topics based on what the moms have expressed interest in. So it's not like I'm just mm -hmm. deciding, oh, we should talk about this. Or the presenters are telling me the moms have said, I want to learn how to fix my credit. I want to learn how to take better care of myself. I want to learn... Um, we had a group of sisters come and they do like home organization and stuff like that. They want to, we've done couponing, um, just all type of things that the moms have expressed interest in. We have people come and they do a four week series on those. 